Worth It by Mark. Welcome to Worth It Repairs by Mark, and this is an iPhone 13 Pro screen replacement, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Please like and subscribe. You're going to get out your P2 screwdriver, your Y000 screwdriver, and I got these on InjuredGadgets.com, and a PH000 screwdriver, and I also like to grab my favorite tool for my fix-it, the splicer. It's a metal pry tool, and no plastic this time because the screen's already broken. All right, so we're going to get a plastic spudger for our connections, and let's get on to the video. P2 screwdriver, and now we're going to remove the two screws from the bottom, and then heat up the screen so it's easy to come off. Anyways, I don't show the heating up in a video. It's just uh, um, silicone pads inside a crock pot. Anyways, it's heated up, so I'm going to pry down here at the bottom, go straight down, and then under the screen, and then once you get that pry mark, you just work your way around the side the connections aren't on, and then work your way around the sides the connections are on. But first, you want to pull from the right to the left, and then open up the screen just like that. Now let's get out our Y000 screwdriver so we can disconnect the battery. Alright, well, we got the bracket off here, and I want to show you the um, battery connection that's right down on the bottom of underneath that pad there. You want to disconnect the battery, then disconnect the screen, and then you'll want to work your way over to the proximity sensor. Anyways, um, there is, if you um, remove the proximity sensor and don't connect it onto the new screen, the screen will actually stay dim, so it's uh, important to... Have it connected when you connect the screen. I don't know why you wouldn't. Maybe liquid damage. Anyways, uh, you use a PH000 screwdriver and a Y000 screwdriver. PH000s are on the top and the Ys are on the bottom. Anyways, um, then you remove the connection for the proximity sensor. Couldn't get it with my fingers, so let's get it out. Switch. Boom. Got it off. Let's take a look at this beautiful iPhone 13 Pro inside the phone. Oh yeah, they do not waste any space. Let's get on with the video and we got to take off the uh, proximity sensor there. Um, it's not an ear speaker anymore, so there is that's different. And I normally look at my uh, uh, new screen and then my old screen and make sure... Um, I am what part I'm taking off here and it's up here you use a Y triple zero screwdriver on this one. I don't remember if it had PH triple zero screws, so I'm sorry for that. Anyways, um you'll want to use a lot of heat and um I use acetone mixed with isopurple alcohol and it breaks adhesive and um then I was able to get the uh proximity sensor off I was super gentle about it. I really don't know what will happen to the phone if you break it because how the proximity sensor works these days on the newer phones. But uh, So I struggle to get it off, but here I apply the heat and I'll keep on watching the video and I'll keep showing you how to do it. Worth it! Here's a quick note for you, the proximity sensor is very hard to get off. I got like tweezers out, I got my metal pry tool, I'm just trying to get under there and try not to break it and it was really scary using the metal pry tool but I was as gentle as could be and I finally did get it off and I did not break it this time and uh, hopefully for the next time I don't break it but I'm not sure what the phone would do without it, it uh, the screen goes dim when you don't have it in. 
I'm not sure if it's a replaceable or if you lose face ID when you replace it or not. Um, those are questions that still are up in the air when you're doing these types of repairs. But I got some acetone finally on there after I tried the heat method and it just wasn't working. And it made it right, nice and easy to slip off, but it was very, very gentle with that thing. And then you move it into the new phone. Here we go. Thanks for watching the video. New phone. I don't know why I said that, but new screen. You gonna put the proximity sensor in here, and then we get to put the phone back together and test it out. Make sure to lay adhesive on this phone. If you don't, the screen could end up falling off. Um, it's really embarrassing and does not look good when your screen falls off. Now it's time to lay the adhesive, and then we're going to test the phone and then put it all the way back together. Pretty much you can just watch the rest through if you want, but mainly the video is pretty much over, because all you got to do is just lay the connections on with your finger flat like that, and then you can feel it clip on, and you would also just want to do the proximity sensor and the display. You can keep watching if you want, but pretty much the video is over. Because all I do is test the phone and then put it all the way back together and then pull the adhesive uh, plastic off and it's all ready to go. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe. Leave me a comment as well. I will answer. Thank you. Bye.